He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Migo. Have you seen him? Useless. It is a very important matter that I locate this Migo. Tell me if you hear mention of him. Eating corpses. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful. Or they'll cross your wires! <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, part of me, name of Migo. Thank you. You? What? What is it? Go. Told you, didn't I? They crossed my wires, hammer goes clang, and then the worms crawl in. Clang, clang, horrible old sadist. Filled my brain with holes. The devil lives inside her, believe you me. Name of Migo. Come out of Arx. My daughter's a magister. Pretty-haired Yarrow girl. She doesn't know about all this, though. Don't you dare blame her, pretty-haired Yarrow girl. Disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? And you're... you're very sure it was him? She inspects the ring closely. This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... this simply can't be! Little Yarrow girl, grown up, 
flower-headed girl. What have they done? Beast! Watch your mouth, inmate. You're in the presence of an honorable man. Don't be obscene. He's as human as you or I. They've only put him through something, something terrible. There were always rumors about the hammer. Dallas, that is. What she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress. Why they never joined the rank and file thereafter. I suppose, I suppose now I know. It's strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Dallas keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks. She reaches out to touch her father's hand. He withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to Yarrow again. I had no idea what a fool I am. Wait, before you go. You've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. Take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. <laughs> What's happened? What have they done to you? Darling? Yarrow girl? It was her, wasn't it? The monster. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am. Here you are. Here we are. Ought to keep well out of sight of the Magisters. Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? The Magister goes slightly slack for a brief moment, as though nothing but her spine were keeping her upright. And you're... you're very sure it was him? The ring sits heavily in her hand. Her fingertips droop under its weight and it seems about to fall to the ground when she grasps it tightly and holds it to her breast. He was... he was my father. Beast? This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... this simply can't be. What did they do to him? What did they do to him? Leave me be! Leave! 